In this video, we'll start by learning a typical must-know exercise in which we learn how to find the equation of a plane given three points contained inside that plane. So, we're asked to find the plane containing the points A with coordinates 1, 1, 1, B with coordinates 0, 1, 2, and C with coordinates negative 1, negative 1, and negative 7. So really, the thing we're aiming to do here, as soon as we start off, is we want to write this plane's equation in vector form to begin with. And remember, the vector equation of a plane looks something like this. R is equal to A plus alpha u plus beta times v. Now, A, remember, is the position vector of any point on the plane. And u and v are two non-collinear vectors which are fully contained inside that plane. So, to get started really, I'm going to make a quick generic sketch of what our plane may look like. So I'll just draw an x and y and z grid. So here we go. x, y, and z. Now we could say that the plane looks something like this. Remember this is purely generic and I'm just sketching this not even thinking of the actual coordinates of the points. They don't really matter. So let's say we have a point A which is here. We have another point B which is on the plane here and let's say our point C is there. So what we could do, remember we need a position vector of a point on this plane. So a pretty easy starting point really is to say okay let's just take A as that point on that plane. So I'll call that position vector OA, I'll just call it A. I then need two vectors which are fully contained in this plane and non-collinear. Well in this case it suggests that I take let's say the vectors AB which I'll just rename as vector U and the vector AC which I'll rename as vector V. And there we go. I actually have everything I need right now to make the vector equation of this plane. I have a position vector of a point on the plane, that's A. I have two non-collinear vectors contained in this plane, U and V. So keeping that in mind, we can go right ahead and do this. The position vector A will equal to the position vector of point A. And so that will have coordinates 1, 1, and 1. The vector U which is contained in the plane, equals to the vector AB, which by very definition equals to the position vector of point B minus the position vector of point A. So that's going to equal to, well, let's see, x coordinates of B is 0, the x coordinate of A is 1, so 0 minus 1 will be negative 1. The y coordinates will have 1 minus 1, 0, and the z coordinates 2 minus 1, 1. Similarly, we have the vector v, which is equal to the vector ac, which by definition equals to the position vector of point c minus the position vector of point a. And just as before we calculate, so we'll have negative 1 minus 1, that's negative 2, negative 1 minus 1, also negative 2, and negative 7 minus 1 will give us negative 8. And there we go, we're pretty much done. So using the fact that the vector equation of a plane will be r equals to a plus alpha u plus b to v, we can go right ahead and write the equation of this plane in component form. And we can say that it has an equation x, y, and z will equal to the position vector of point a, so that was 1, 1, and 1, plus alpha times u, so that was negative 1, 0, and 1, plus beta times negative 2, negative 2, negative 8. And there we have it. We've just found the vector equation of this plane. Now let's go, go ahead and move along and look on to another exercise. We now look at another exercise in which we're asked to find the equation of a plane which contains two lines. 
The first is given by the vector equation r1 equals to a plus lambda u, and the second is given by r2 equals to b plus mu times vector v. And we're then given the details of each of the vectors. We're told that position vector a has coordinates 1, 1, 2, the vector u has coordinates 1, negative 1, 1, vector b has coordinates negative 1, 0, 2, and finally the vector v has coordinates 1, 3, 5. Now, as is always pretty useful, it's a really good idea to start with some sort of generic sketch to get an idea of what we're dealing with. So again, I'll just quickly make a really rough sketch here of an x, y, and z plane in three dimensions. And what we're looking for is the equation of some plane, which could look something like this, and I'll call it p. Now we're told that this, this plane contains two lines, r1 and r2. So if I just draw two generic lines, say this one here, and another one here. Now I can tell that these two lines aren't parallel, or rather aren't collinear, simply by looking at the two, I want to say, direction vectors here. These two vectors are definitely not collinear, since one is not just the stretch of the other. In other words, I can't get from u to v simply by multiplying one or the other by a simple number. Now, let's look at the information we're given here. We know that the first line has a position vector a on it. So this point a is on the first line. So I can go ahead now and just say, OK, well, that point a, which is on line 1, has position vector a. It also has a direction vector on it, u, which I'm drawing here. The second line has a point B on it, which I'll draw here, and we're given that point's position vector, which is the vector B. And it also has a direction vector, V. So that's the information we're actually given. Now to find the equation of a plane, really the most important thing is to remember the, the definition of the vector equation of a plane. We know that a plane is defined by a vector equation looking something like r is equal to some position vector of a point contained in the plane, which I'm calling a, plus alpha u plus beta v, where u and v are two non-collinear vectors which are fully contained in that plane. Well, looking at this sort of generic sketch here, we have all that information. Our position vector a we could choose either point A or B, which are both in the plane. And then we have two vectors, which are fully contained in the plane and non-collinear. We have the vector U and the vector V. So we can go right ahead here and just write a, a vector equation of this plane as R equals to A plus alpha U plus beta V where in this case, we could write this in component form as x, y, and z is equal to 1, 1, 2 plus alpha times the vector u, so that's 1, negative 1, 1, plus beta times the vector v, that's 1, 3, 5. And there we go. That is a vector equation of our plane. We could, of course, have chosen the point b, instead of the point A, in which case we would have had this. x, y, z is equal to negative 1, 0, 2 plus alpha times 1, negative 1, 1 plus beta times 1, 3, 5. And this would also be a perfectly valid vector equation for this plane. So in fact, if we're given the equation of two lines contained within the plane, and those two lines are non-collinear, like is the case here, finding the equation of a plane is a really easy task. We just need to rearrange the information that's given to us. And as we can see here, there are two different ways in this case, or I should say two easy ways, of writing the vector equation of this plane. And there we have it.